Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a free trade bot that you can use online. Now, it is pretty much entirely free. I'll explain to you guys how you can start using it. Um, but pretty much this is the first free trade bot that I've showed on this channel. And uh, I have tested this out on my personal account. I am running it right now on, uh, on my account. And it has been doing pretty great. And so that's why I wanted to show it to you guys. So anyways, let's get right into it. So as you guys can see here, the website is called TraderDaddy.com. I know it's a weird name. I don't know why they named it that. But anyways, um, basically what this is, is it's a trade bot. Um, and it has something to do with uh, Ruby coin. I don't really know exactly how they're connected, uh, but they are connected somehow. So pretty much how it works is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go onto the website, create an account. It's entirely free. It's just your email and you put a password or whatever. And uh, once you make an account, you're going to have to go onto their Slack channel. Um, if you guys don't know what Slack is, it's like Skype or Telegram or Discord. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, so you just go on their Slack channel, you message uh, one of their moderators, and then you just tell them I want my account to be activated, and they'll go ahead and check and activate your account. Um, so pretty much once you have your account activated, what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to head over to Bittrex, and you're going to want to buy some Ruby coin. Now, this is the part where... You know, I, I, I would consider it free, but it's not truly entirely free. Um, so pretty much this only works on Bittrex, by the way. If you don't have a Bittrex account, make, make sure you make one. Um, but pretty much what, this, what you need to do is whenever you're running the trade bot, um, you need to have 500 ruby in your Bittrex wallet. Now, pretty much, this is how they make it free. Um, they just they want to create a demand for this coin in order to make them money, you know, in order to hopefully make the price of the coin go up, although it doesn't really look like it's been working too well. Um, but, you know, they want to create a higher demand for the coin, and so that's why you just have to be holding 500 ruby while you're running the trade bot. Now, once you're done with the trade bot, you can sell your ruby. It doesn't take it. Now, for some reason, whenever you're running the trade bot, it does put a sell order for your 500 ruby. Um, but I, I do still have my 500 ruby. Um, so pretty much that's just the only requirement. I would still consider it free since you're, they're not taking it from you. You know, you just have to be holding it while you're running the bot. Uh, but just make sure that you have enough Bitcoin to buy 500 ruby. Uh, and then still hold, you know, all the other coins that you want to trade on it. So anyways, once you have the 500 ruby uh, from Bittrex, you're going to want to go back onto the Trader Daddy website, and then you'll be able to see your dashboard. It should look like this, except it won't have the markets on it, and there will probably be nothing on your recent activity. Now, this is something else that's really interesting about this bot. This bot is more of a micro-profit bot, so if you guys don't know what that means, is it makes a lot of orders, um, for a smaller amount of Bitcoin, and then, you know, it gets 1% gains constantly, but since some smaller amounts of Bitcoin, uh, you know, that's sort of how it works. And so it also it limits your risk since it trades with such small amounts, um, and then since there's such a high volume of trades, that's how you make more profit, pretty much. So that's how this bot works. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and go to manage. So this is where you'll select your trading markets. Now, I do want to remind you guys that this is in beta, uh, just wanted to throw that out there. They will add features in the future, but this is all they have for now. So pretty much once you go on to trading markets, you will see uh, you know, a bunch of different uh, cryptocurrencies on Bittrex. I'm not sure it's all of them. I don't think it is, um, but you know, it's a lot of them, uh, enough to where you'd be happy. And then what you want to do is you want to select your uh, coins. So say I wanted to trade you know, Bitcoin Cash. And then you'd want to click uh, market liquidity buy and sell. This is the trade bot. Um, if you want to do slowly exit, that means say I have you know three Bitcoin of Bitcoin Cash, three Bitcoin worth of Bitcoin Cash, and I want to sell it off uh, slowly since it went up in uh, it went up in value. But you know if you put a three Bitcoin order, it might take a while for that to sell. So instead, what you can do is you can uh, select this slowly exit setting and then what the bot will do is it will slowly sell off that coin so it doesn't affect uh, the price of Bitcoin cash or and it you know helps you lock in those profits 
instead of making one big sell order or manually putting in all the orders. So that's what uh, slowly exit does. Slowly accumulate just pretty much just puts a bunch of uh, bids under the price of the coin that you want to buy. So pretty much if something goes on uptrend and you know it's going to keep on going up, you might as well just turn on slowly accumulate and then it will just keep on buying up until you know you st stop it manually. Now market liquidity is the trade bot, so that's why it says buy and sell. So you just click on that for whatever uh, coin you want. So here I have you know CVC and ADEX, and then over on your dashboard here, this is where you will see your markets, and then you will have uh, this setting that says budget on it. It's so pretty much this is just the percentage of your Bittrex balance that you want to be trading for each coin. Now, pretty much how this works is um, it doesn't cap it at 100%, but you should never really you know trade over 100% of your coins. Um, so I just evenly spread it out here and left you know 10% just in case. Um, you have your trades. And then you know your current profit. I don't think this is exactly correct since yesterday I started with 0.866 or something around that. Um, but I, I don't know. It's not exactly correct, I think. Um, but then it has the volume created. So as you can see here, even though I made you know 0 0.01 uh, Bitcoin in profit, um, the volume, the amount of trades that it made is very very high. Uh, so this is definitely a micro profit bot. So pretty much once you set your budget and you get your markets in, uh, in order to get it up and running, you just click this button up here and you set it to on, and then it will put a bunch of orders on your Bittrex account. Now this might lag your computer if it isn't too powerful, um, but pretty much as you can see here, uh, I am running three cryptocurrencies on this bot right now, and it has 11 pages of orders. So it definitely has a lot of orders. Pretty much how this works is, say the coin crashes for some reason, then it will just buy uh, at a bunch of different prices all the way down, and then pretty much at the bottom, you know, it'll wait until it goes back up, and then it'll sell it all, and then you'll get your profit. So that's pretty much how it works. Um, and so I have these three coins running. You know, I find it works obviously better on uptrends. On downtrends, you can get bags on the spot, so that's one thing to keep in mind. If you guys don't know what a bag is, that's just when a coin isn't being sold off because you aren't ever getting pr like into profit. Um, so pretty much, you know, the only thing I suggest you do once you start running this spot, uh, obviously just make sure that you're making profit. I certainly have been. And uh, also make sure that if one of the coins that you're trading dumps, Usually it's not too bad, it doesn't affect your uh, profit that much because normally the bot um, doesn't buy that much. That's why it's like a micro profit bot. But if you see that there's some coin that isn't being traded that's just in your wallet and sitting there, then all you need to do is just manually sell it on the exchange and maybe uh, stop the pair and then you're totally fine and you can continue making profit with the, with the bot. Uh, anyways guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll leave the link in the description to TraderDaddy.com. Uh, it's completely free like I said. I think you guys should try it out even if you already own GunBot. You know, I try. I love to try out different trade bots just to see you know, what's out there and different types of strategies. Uh, but anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and see you in the next video.